Oh my god, look at this subway station. It's like a spaceship. Really cool. That's something you don't see anywhere else in the world. Especially when we talk about subway systems like in New York, Chicago, or Philadelphia that are quite dangerous nowadays. That people just leave their phones on the subway charging. Look at that. Somebody just placed it there and there's nobody around. <laughs> Hello everyone, today we are coming to Xi'an. It's a city as modern or convenient as Singapore or Tokyo, way safer than metropolis like New York or Chicago. America, great again! And today we're going to explore their subway system, one of the most extensive in China and the world. Welcome aboard Xi'an Metro. China's subway system exploded in growth basically because the country made it a top priority, but also they had the money, the manpower and the system that let them build it fast, really fast. Xi'an subway just opened in 2011. In just 10 years, it grew from one to nine lines and that's not it, it's still expanding all around the city. China's subways feel super secure because they've basically built a system where bad behavior is really hard to get away with. There are cameras everywhere, but culturally, there is a vibe of social order. Well, people basically just don't mess around in public spaces. A teen boy beat up by a random mob on a subway platform, and an older woman sitting on a subway bench when a suspect smeared human feces all over her. Richard a man being violently shoved onto the tracks from behind <gasps> in an unprovoked attack. These kind of security checks is what makes China subways so safe, because you're not allowed to enter with guns. Until the older of the two men pulled a gun with the deafening echo of gunfire underground dangerous chemicals or substances into the station. So I think that is really cool. That's something you don't see anywhere else in the world, especially when we talk about subway systems like in New York, Chicago, or Philadelphia that are quite dangerous nowadays. You all know that China has too many people, too many cars, and too much traffic. So extensive subway networks are a smart way to keep these massive, fast-growing cities moving smoothly. The whole system in Xi'an Metro covers around 300 kilometers. It also has more than 200 stations all around the city and it keeps growing. Today we're exploring Line 8. One of the latest lines in Xi'an subway system is also a circle or a loop line, which is actually the first in the city. Oh my god, look at this subway station. It's like a spaceship. Hard to believe this is actually a subway station, but this is what you get to see here in modern metro systems in China. This beautiful design, clean, spacious, safe, serving a lot of people, but also beautiful. They just come and enjoy these facilities as if it was like an amusement park, taking pictures, enjoying while riding a subway. Hard to believe. China has been really trying to boost tourism and try to attract more travelers to come to China. Open visa-free system for many countries. So here's the thing, many subway systems have been in controversy because of course their language is Chinese. They use Mandarin for the name of the stations. However, they refuse translating to English the name of the station. Rather than that, they're using Pinyin, which is actually the closest way for Westerners to pronounce Chinese names. In Beijing, actually, a few months ago, some stations changed their names from English to Pinyin. So perhaps it might be a little bit confusing for some travelers to identify the name of the stations. I don't know what you guys think. Should they keep the names in Chinese or they can use both languages, Chinese and English? China knows people basically live on their phones. So they are starting to add wireless charging stations on subway trains. 
It's a smart little upgrade that makes commuting a bit more comfortable. You know, subways in China, actually China in general is so safe that people just leave their phones on the subway charging. Look at that. Somebody just placed yeah. it there and there's nobody around. Probably he just sit down knowing that nobody's gonna take it. And actually, I love these kind of little conveniences within the trains in subway systems in China. So you just have a power station or a charging station for your phone that will charge while you're riding the subway. They also have a couple of USB ports in case you have the cable to charge. China has been making a big push to add toilets to subway stations. Some places even have small restrooms with things like occupancy indicators or auto cleaning features. This is the subway bathroom. Quite clean, very new, and available for every user of the metro system in Xi'an. And just a kind reminder, if you're enjoying our content, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Also, remember to hit the bell button so you know what is going to be the next video about life in China. China is really stepping up its game when it comes to subway station design. It's not just about getting people from point A to point B anymore. They want the stations themselves to feel like a part of the city's identity. Subway stations here in China are also a touristic attraction. And we have here some ladies taking pictures in the subway because yeah, the design is so striking. It's so cool that they have become a touristic attraction themselves. So people just come here to ride the subway, enjoy the design, the beautiful light, and even make videos and take pictures like me. You know, everywhere I go in China, I love visiting their new subway stations. I think this infrastructure, other than serving people for transportation, are now becoming something quite iconic of every modern city. So again, they're clean, they're safe, they're spacious. I'm going to show you the 让我们随便乘车 China has over 11,000 kilometers of urban rail across 310 metro lines in 47 cities making it the country with the most metro systems and the longest total network length globally. Yes, it is true when I made subway videos here in China and maybe compared them to cities like New York, for example, people say, but New York Metro runs 24 hours. Well, yes, it's quite convenient. We don't have any metro in China that runs 24 hours. Actually, the working hours for the subways here usually from 6 in the morning till 11 p.m. and trains run every two to four minutes, which is actually convenient. But most of the cities, if not all of them, have a subway that reaches main train stations and airports, which is something that you don't see in New York at all. China's subway boom isn't hitting the brakes anytime soon. New lines keep popping up, more cities are jumping on board, and the tech just keeps getting smarter. What started as a way to handle crazy urban growth has turned it into something way bigger. 
China's subways are not just the fastest or the biggest. They are the ones everyone else is trying to copy. There are actually a lot of people who use this system every day. Around 3 million people here in the city of Xi'an are riding the subway. And actually, the fares are not that expensive. They go from 2 to 6 renminbi per ride, which is around 50 to 60 cents of dollar, which is very cheap if you compare to other major cities like Paris, Madrid, or New York. And also, the trains go quite fast. Average speed is 80 kilometers per hour, which is very fast for a city train. This is another one of the coolest stations of this metro system in Xi'an. Also, you can see they're taking some inspiration from nature. They have these leaves falling from a tree, which also makes it look quite nice. Folks, that's a grab on China's subway magic. I would love to know what blew your mind the most. Let me know in the comments. Remember also to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more stories about the tech and infrastructure that is moving the Middle Kingdom. As always, thanks a lot for watching and with that, I will see you in the next one from China. Bye bye.